hey guys welcome to compression and visit mr green and in the last video i showed you how to download virtualbox i am assuming that you have already installed it and when you open the virtualbox manager you can see it here like when you open the virtualbox oracle vm virtualbox you will get this screen and this is the main user interface of oracle vm virtualbox manager uh, here are all the virtual machines that you have installed here is the details of everything that you have configured in your virtual machine and here in this small box it shows you a preview if the virtual box is running since all my virtual box are powered off there is no preview here but whenever we start a virtual machine you can see its preview here there are various options here these are this is the quick access toolbar like you can directly create a new machine from here you can change the settings of the machine you can discard it you can start it and you can also do that from machine you can create a new one here create and you can also add an existing virtual machine into this and uh, you can change the settings you can clone the virtual machine so that in case you delete it by mistake you can directly get it back as it was to the cloned version and you can remove it you can group it in the file you will see preferences and these preferences is for oracle vm virtual box and not for the virtual machines for the virtual machine settings you can click here or you can go to setting uh, machine and go to settings but if you want to change the options of oracle vm virtual box you have to go to file preferences you can select the default machine folder you can select the input update language there are various options you can go through this and if you have a proxy server you can enable the proxy and put the host and host num host name and the uh, port address now let us see what is there in the settings like if you click on the settings uh, you can see the main option here and you can see the details of the options on the right side so general consists of basic which is the name type of the operating system and version there's an advanced option where you can select a snapshot we will talk about snapshots later and shared clipboard always keep this as bi-directional which means that if i write something here and i copy it i can directly paste it into my virtual machine if your shared clipboard is bi-directional if it is from host to guest host is your base operating system that is your windows and guest is the virtual machine if it so you can write here and you can paste it to virtual machine but you can't copy anything on the virtual machine and paste it on the base operating system if you keep it as guest to host so you can copy anything from the virtual machine and paste it into your base operating system but you can't do the opposite of that you can't copy anything from base operating system to the virtual machine so always keep this as bi-directional drag and drop is simply like you can drag a file and drop it but there's one important thing that you should know about this all these options would be enabled when you uh, like install the guest additions of virtualbox and we'll also talk about it later the description is about the virtual machines description you can type it here it doesn't matter if you keep it blank encryption is like when you operate when you install a linux operating system it gives you an option to encrypt it you can select a type of encryption there's an option for system you can configure your system like i have a 8 gb ram so i have given this machine a 4 gb of ram and you can oh this is showing me an error so it there's also this good setting of oracle vm virtual box it shows you when there is any invalid system, uh, settings and you can read about it here so i have enabled the encryption but i have not selected the cipher so it is showing me as invalid settings so let me just disable it so uh, back to where we were so in the base memory it is the ram of the operating system of the virtual machine and i have given it as 4 gp i have selected the boot order as optical hard disk that is cd drive and hard disk you can see the processor here uh, i have given it two processors and 
I have given the execution cap as 100%. If you are trying to run a 64 bit operating system virtual machine on a 32 bit operating system, that is your base machine is 32 bit and your operating system virtual machines operating system is 64 bit, you need to enable this. Since I have both operating systems in 64 bits, uh, it doesn't matter if I keep this unchecked. Acceleration, I have enabled this. It is by default unchecked. You can check it. It will only give you more power to the virtual machine. Display is the display settings. I have increased. I have kept the video memory as full. Uh, there's only one monitor, so I have monitor count is one. Uh, you can uh, like select uh, enable 3d acceleration and 2d acceleration but this will show you some error because i have enabled the both options the virtual machine is set up to use video stream acceleration as this feature only works with windows yes systems it will be disabled so remote displays when you want to display it on some other machine you can enable it and put the port number authentication timeout and all that Video capture is uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox has its own video capture thing. Like you can capture whatever is going on in the operating in the virtual machine, and you can save it in WEBM format. You can select the frame rate. You can select the quality, and you will see a small option of a video recording here when the virtual machine starts. So I don't want to enable the video capture option. Storage is where your uh, hard disk and optical drives are located. So this is where you can insert your CDs into your operating system. Uh, when you click on this and you select the uh, optical drive, so you can either browse through the optical drive, like the ISO files you have, or you can select one from the recently used ISOs or you can remove it so uh, if you are creating a virtual machine you need to go like you need to select the ISO from here and only then you can install it into the virtual machine uh, let us keep this as Windows 8.1 and it will show you the optical disk here this is the VDI file which is basically the hard disk of your virtual machine. It will show you the actual size, it will show you the virtual size, uh, the location of the drive, the audio option is enabled, network is bridge adapter. We will talk about this later, by default it is NAT but I always keep it, keep it as bridge and I will tell you the reason in the next videos. These are the serial codes usb you can choose usb 2.0 3.0 or but it will show you an invalid setting so just go with usb 1.1 shared folders is the folder that you can share with your virtual machine like you can create a you can select a folder from here and like from your base operating system and that would appear in your uh, virtual machine again for this feature to be enabled you need to install the guest additions and we'll talk about that later and this is the user interface this is how your operating system virtual machines operating system setting will look when you start it and these are the menu that you can see when your virtual machine starts so that's it guys you can also see the settings that we saw here in detail here so you like you can see the settings here but if you have to change anything you have to go to the settings tab and that's it thank you guys for watching this video in the next video in the next video tutorial i will create a new virtual machine and install it thank you guys